Welcome to Data Drivers. I'm your host, Andrew Smith of Think Uncommon. In this series, we explore essential strategies for retailers to harness the power of data and analytics. We'll guide you through the tools and techniques that enable a deep understanding of your customers' preferences and behaviors. You'll learn how to optimize everything from backend operations to logistics and supply chain management, maximizing efficiency and even enhancing customer satisfaction. This episode is going to be all about going beyond digitization. We're going to dive into what it means to turn stores into data hubs and how that can benefit data collection, unified data enhancements, and better collaboration. Now, before we get started, don't forget to check the description below for information and news about what's coming up from the Retail Cloud Alliance. Now, let's dive in. Turning a store into Data Hub means transforming it into an intelligent ecosystem where every interaction, be it customer movement, purchase patterns, or inventory shifts, generates actionable insights. So unlike traditional digitization, which usually just means automating existing processes, this approach leverages technology like AI and IoT to create a dynamic environment. You can think of it like the difference between having a static map or a live GPS with real-time traffic updates. So by making the store a data hub, we're enabling it to learn, adapt, and optimize continuously. I think turning store as a data hub, it means actually using in-store technology to enable data collection, data analysis, and by basically processing potentially large volumes of data and that could be customer data or operational data. The main target is to transform physical retail into intelligent uh, ecosystem. Uh, where data helps driving uh, decision-making uh, across multiple areas that could be inventory management, customer experience, assortment, promotions, pricing. I've seen the data they're collected from are like point of sales, customer interaction, you know, mobile apps, inventory levels, right? You got inventory levels in there and the operational data where the IOT devices, sensors, cameras, RFID, that kind of stuff, right? And don't forget electronic shelf data, right? You get, you, you can use electronic shelf data all the way down to even the refrigeration and the lighting. What is it, the, the benefit of it? You know, you get a unified view of kind of the performance of the store, you get this deep customer uh, uh, kind of understanding. It's no longer just table stakes. You really need to step forwards, faster time to insights and improved category management. I mean, it's important to have the category management and then the enhanced collaboration. Essential technologies include IoT sensors, advanced vision systems, cloud computing, and generative AI models like multimodal LLMs that can process and analyze wide spectrum of data types. Uh, to ensure seamless integration, uh, you can create a unified data platform. Think of it as sort of a digital nervous system that allows information to flow effortlessly across departments and location. So this involves interoperable system, robust APIs, a commitment to breaking down data silos. So everyone operates from a single source of truth. I think that cloud computing and infrastructure is essential. Um, typically centralized, way of putting the data and the information on the cloud. This is such a solution as the vCloud solution of the, the Vision Group. You can also potentially look at edge computing for being able to process data uh, in real time. Uh, there's also uh, data analytics uh, platforms that could be beneficial, uh, such as memory, for example, to be able to aggregate, analyze data across multiple stores and departments. It's your first time, maybe data overload, data overload, data overload, but that's okay, right? Just throw out what's not good, but you can get a clean structure, kind of prepare the data for analysis, timely and glean the meaningful insights from what, what you can get. Automate the data cleaning, you know, structuring process. We have been able to use machine learning algorithms to help you get through this. Consider other technologies outside of where your traditional are, like no SQL, no SQL. Uh, semantic reasoning, ontology kind of layers. And don't be put off by those words, people have them. And then you reduce the in integration complexities uh, along the way. Improving customer experience in store uh, would be possible by providing, for example, personalized services. So that's gonna be real-time recommendations, tailored product recommendations, personalized promotions by displaying a more appropriate information to the client. 
there's going to be also, I would say, potentially improving the omni-channel experience. And so typically you're going to have uh, try to unify uh, the customer profile online and within the physical store. The future points toward an AI-driven stores where personalization reaches new heights. Think of it as dynamically enhancing the shopping experience and the line between online and offline blurs. We'll see more autonomous stores that can anticipate and respond to customer needs instantly. Uh, the future of retail, we've coined this as agentic retails, a paradigm shift where stores don't just react to trends, but predict and shape them. Just imagine your retail operation harnessing AI-driven agents that automate the mundane and repetitive tasks, freeing your teams to focus on innovation and creativity. These intelligent agents learn, adapt, and provide real-time insights, enabling dynamic product designs, personalized promotions, and supply chains that adjust instantly to customer demand. So these stores become intelligent ecosystems that make every interaction more personal, every decision more informed, and every product more relevant. And it's really not about technology for technology's sake, it's about really elevating the art of merchandising to create extraordinary experiences that make customers feel understood and valued. Well, that wraps another episode of Data Drivers, and I certainly hope you got a lifetime's worth of value from this episode. To learn more about the Retail Cloud Alliance, don't forget to click the link below and subscribe to our channel so that you're first in line to watch all of the latest episodes. For now though, I'm your host, Andrew Smith of Think Uncommon, and I'll see you next time for more Data Drivers.